everybody, it's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Uh, today we're doing a video about how to control aggressive dog behavior. Um, I gotta tell you, aggressive dog behavior scares me. Uh, it scares me for a few reasons. One is that it puts obviously people, children, other dogs in danger because the, the, an aggressive dog, it can hurt people and other animals. Um, but it also puts me, um, in a state of fear for for the owner because I know how scary it is to have your dog acting in an aggressive way and how scary it is when you can't get control of it. And it also scares me for the dog because, you know, a lot of times a dog can be harshly disciplined or even to the worst extent put down. Uh, for aggressive behavior. So I think that um, learning how to control aggressive dog behavior uh, is really crucial. It really is. So I just wanted to share this with you today. This is my website that we're on. It's called peoplelovinganimals.com. I do a lot about dog training on this website. Now, I just want to tell you, I'm going to give you some real help here today for how to control aggressive dog behavior. I'm going to be using tips from a professional dog trainer uh, who refers to himself as Doggy Dan. He owns the um, dog training website, the online dog trainer, and I'm going to give you links to that. I'm going to show you more about that. Uh, but he is a professional dog trainer and a behavioral specialist. And while we, uh, during this video, I'm going to give you um, access to two other videos I'll show you here real quick. One is a video by Doggy Dan, How to Stop Dog Aggression Towards People, and the other will be a video by Doggy Dan, How to Correct Dog Aggression Toward Other Dogs. So like I said, in this video, you're going to get real help from a professional dog trainer on how to control aggressive dog behavior. But the thing is, is that you, you need to understand the training behind it, and, and please stick with me here because this is the most important thing. If you have an aggressive dog, uh, please stick through to the end of this video because it's important information that you need to receive here. Uh, first, let me just, uh, I hate to read to you, but, but it's important. Um, if you want to understand how to control aggressive dog behavior, you must first realize that your dog is making his own decisions and he'll not listen to you if you try to show him a different way to behave. What he is doing is simply too important to him and he thinks it's the right thing to do. Dog aggression is nearly always done in order to protect you. I'm sorry, my battery is running low. In order to protect you, their pack, or their own lives. That's how they see it. They see it as being that important, okay? Um, now, there are different types of dog, dog aggressions. Um, I love this picture. You know, it's not funny, but boy, the little ones. Oh, they're the most aggressive sometimes. I had a little miniature dachshund named Maggie, and she would start fights with pit bulls, with uh, German shepherds. Uh, oh, she was a scrambler. I wish I would have known then what I know now about correcting her aggressive dog behavior. Uh, but the, the good thing is I know it now, and I can share it with others. Uh, there are different types of aggression uh, from dominant to fearful and everything in between. Um, if you want to learn how to control aggressive dog behavior, it's important to determine um, whether their aggression is all the time or just sometimes. And also look, uh, is your dog aggressive towards people? Is he aggressive towards other animals or objects? Um, like the vacuum cleaner, for example. Uh, dominant dogs will be more proactive, often attacking when they still have the option of running away. Fearful dogs will only attack if they have no place to run. So you do need to kind of take a look at your dog and say, you know, under what circumstances is this aggression happening? Um, is it strictly with other people? Is it only, you know, when I start up the vacuum cleaner? Is it toward other dogs? Is my dog, you know, going into full-blown attack even if he could run away? Or is, is your dog, will he only go into that aggressive behavior if he's kind of forced into a corner? So try to get an understanding of, you know, when does this happen? Um, now, here's a section, and I'm not going to read this to you, but um, how to be, you have to be the pack leader. Now, listen, this is important. When we talk about pack leader training, um, a lot of times people will think that, oh, you got to show the dog who's boss, you got to be dominant with the dog, you got to hold the dog down physically, uh, growl and snarl at the dog, hit the dog. No, that's all stupid. It's stupid and it's ineffective. What pack leader training is, is pack leader training is 
showing your dog that you're the pack leader uh, so that he doesn't have to be. Okay, the most, most important concept to grasp is that your dog must look to you as the pack leader. You can convince him that you are the decision maker. Only then can he relax and not feel the need to take it upon himself to be the protector. Once you have convinced your dog that you are the pack leader, then upon reaching the point where he is actually aggressive, you will find that he will actually start to take notice of how you are behaving. Once he sees you as the decision maker, he won't just act. He'll look to you first to see how you're acting, then copy you. Remember, dogs are pack animals and they follow the pack leader. So that's the thing. If your dog is... Um, if your dog thinks that he's the pack leader, if he doesn't see you as the one who's in charge, he's going to think he needs to protect you. If the two of you are walking down the sidewalk and a person approaches he, or if you're walking down the sidewalk, another dog approaches, if somebody rings the doorbell, if somebody comes into the yard, he's going to turn on that aggression because he feels like he needs to protect you. He thinks it's his job to protect you. But like the article says, if you've done track uh, pack leader training with your dog, then you're, you will have taught your dog that he doesn't have to be the pack leader, that you're the pack leader. Okay, now pack leader training, um, Doggy Dan has um, what he calls his five golden rules, which is five steps that you take with your dog. Very simple, doing it in the house with the dog. And there are ways that you can show your dog that you're the pack leader. Uh, and it's very, very uh, um, effective training. And the other thing, too, is once you train your dog that he doesn't have to be the pack leader boy does it solve a lot of problems biting um anxiety um you know the dog doesn't get scared every time you leave the house it just so many really i i would venture to say that all dog behavioral problems are caused by the fact that the dog sees themselves as having to be in charge and it, it creates a lot of fear in them and a lot of aggression and um you know a lot of anxiety and just plain bad behavior. Um, so what I would like you to do is in the description at the bottom of this video, you're going to find a few things. First, you're going to find a link to this article on my website that we're, that we're reading from right now. So you can read a little bit more. You're also going to be able to see this video by Doggy Dan. Um, this is, uh, like I said, he runs the, um, the dog training website called the online dog trainer. Now I'm also going to give you a link for this video so you can watch stop a dog, uh, stop dog aggression towards people. This is doggy Dan working with a dog. Um, I'm also going to give you the link to this video, correcting dog aggression towards other dogs. And as you can see, this is doggy Dan right here. And in his videos, he shows you he's actually working with dogs and you get to watch it. Also, I'm going to give you a link to Doggy Dan's website. I'm also going to give you a link to my full review of uh, the online dog trainer website. Now, here's here's the cool thing. Uh, first of all, I'm going to give you a couple, you know, these videos for free. So you're actually going to be able to get some free information right now. Um, and I do hope that via this this video, I hope that this has helped you already. But the other thing is, is Doggy Dan uh, gives a one dollar three day uh, trial of his website. Now, his website, the online dog trainer, has more than 250 videos on every dog issue you can possibly think of, including dog aggression. And there are videos of Doggy Dan actually working with the dogs. So in my mind, it's it's even better than having a professional dog trainer come to your house because you get to watch video after video of Doggy Dan. He's not only a professional dog trainer, he's also a behavioral specialist. And you're going to be able to watch these videos. So for three whole days for the, for the $1, you can watch as many videos as you want. Um, also, he does have a monthly membership. It's $47 a month. So at the end of the three days, if you're not done yet and you're like, wait a minute, there was a few more videos I wanted to watch, um, you can go ahead and sign up for, for a month. And then you'll have another month to go ahead and keep watching videos. And then you can stay in monthly for as long as you want, or you can cancel at any time. Now, the other thing is, obviously, you don't want to just sit around watching videos. You want to be able to watch the videos and then incorporate what you're learning with your dog. Um, so you're going to want to spend some time on this. Um, 
So most likely you're going to do the $1 three day trial. You're going to go in there. You're going to see all these videos. You're going to make a list of the ones you want to watch. You're going to start watching them. You're going to start working with your dog. And then you're probably going to want to purchase at least a one month membership for the $47 to give yourself another month to watch videos and work with your dog. Um, and also obviously you want to get access to the five golden rules because that's really the, this is what you do in the house. This is what you do with the dog to teach him, um, that he can give up that role as pack leader and, and he can leave it to you. And it's just going to be life changing for your dog and for you. Uh, so this is what I suggest for people on how to control aggressive dog behavior. You know, it, you've got to get to the root of the problem. You've got to understand why the dog feels this way. Uh, and that's why they feel this way because they don't, they don't see you as the person in charge. They think they're in charge and you got to change that. And so I hope that this video has helped you. Uh, like I said, down in the description box, you're going to see links to all this further information. And uh, I'm also going to give you a link in uh, the description box to go ahead and sign up for my email subscriber list for dog lovers. Now on my website, uh, peoplelovinganimals.com, I also do uh, things regarding cats. Uh, so it's not just dogs, it's cats as well. But in this video, you're going to get a link to sign up for my dog lovers email subscriber list. And just about every five or seven days, you'll receive an email from me with an article uh, similar to this article on all different subjects regarding dogs, everything from training to um, the strangest article I wrote was how to, why do dogs eat poop and how to stop it? <laughs> I mean, a lot of people just needed that information, so I did an article. But you're going to get an article every five to seven days about dogs, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a lot of really valuable information for you. Now, the other thing that I need to tell you is that I make money on this website. This is what I do for a living is my, my website, peoplelovinganimals.com. I do make commission. For example, I make commission on Doggy Dan. If you sign up for the online dog trainer and you um, pay, you know, the – say you get a month subscription for $47, I do get a commission on that. Um, I do promote Doggy Dan and I do get paid for it and I promote Doggy Dan as the main dog trainer on my website because I believe in him the most. But also in the articles that you're going to get in, in the emails, you'll see that I'm promoting certain um, products and services or I'm just giving you the links to get the products and services that, that you need for whatever issue we're discussing in the article. And yes, I do get commission on those. But the exciting thing about it is that I donate 10% of all the commissions I make on this website to animal charities. Um, when you go on my website, you're going to see a link here. It's actually the homepage of my website. You'll be able to see a list of the animal charities that I donate to. So I, I, I'm really excited about my website because I feel like I'm able to really research and give people real help for all these issues uh, related to their dog and their cat. And I'm able to make commission on it, which lets me do this for a living full time. And I'm also able to take the 10% of all my commissions and donate it to animal charities. So I, I hope that this video has helped you and I hope you'll share it with your friends, especially if you have a friend who has an aggressive dog. Please just, you know, just forward this to them so they can get this information on my website. I love this little dog. He's the sweetest. You're going to see a lot more articles about dog training. And like I said, cat training uh, as well. If, by the way, if you do want to end up on the the email list for cat stuff as well. Just when you're in my website, go to cat training and you'll see a pop-up and you'll be able to sign up for the cat lovers uh, email list as well. So thank you so much for visiting and I really hope that this has helped you. And, you know, honestly, I, I just pray for you and your dog. If you're having a problem with dog aggression, for you to be able to get this training from Doggy Dan and get this settled for you and for your dog so the two of you can just be just have a peaceful, loving relationship and, and just have just have a nice life with without this kind of upset. So again, my name is Deborah. My website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thank you so much for visiting. Bye-bye.